So I'm at this customer's house for an estimate yesterday and they had some garden flocks that we had put in for them and they were actually looking really good. So nobody was concerned about them or nothing. Um, but I was just telling them, she was like, well, they kind of faded out early last year. And I'm like, nah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what they're supposed to do. I don't think that's a big deal. I kind of brushed my hand across them and was like, they look pretty good this year. And, uh, you know, that I hadn't really like examined them up close. And when I brushed my hand across them, some little bugs started crawling around. And I'm like, uh-oh. And I looked closer to the leaf, and there was a bunch of little speckled spots. And so here's what I saw. So windy. Yeah. So you can see the little white speckling spots on the leaves. Um, a lot of times that's like a piercing and sucking insect. Um, kind of like a mosquito would take a bite out of you, but these are so spread apart and obviously you can see the little red bugs. So it's like, well, maybe those little red bugs are doing it, but upon closer examination, those are box alder bugs, which don't really harm plants. So what those speckling really is, is a nutrient deficiency. Um, and I think this is one of those cases where it's like, Hey, you see some symptoms, and you see some culprits, but sometimes correlation doesn't always mean causation. And in the case of the garden flocks and the box alder bugs, I think what really the issue with the stipling is, is actually a nutrient deficiency. Nutrient deficiencies will show as stipling on the leaves quite often. And this, to me, is a perfect example of that.